Good wee Bob here and in this tutorial we're painting a watercolour melon slice comparing the results I achieved in sketchbook and critter side by side. I'll take you through the brushes and the colours that I used. This is going to be just a two dimensional watermelon slice, the sort of thing you may see in a cookbook illustration. Uh, a big thank you to everyone that's been watching my channel recently, really appreciated for comments etc. So I started with a dark green colour for the rind of the watermelon. The brush I am using in Sketchbook comes from the Textured Watercolour Brush Set and is called the Fine Tip Brush. I will leave a link in the description to those brush sets which are free from Sketchbook. If you need help installing them, I have a video linked in the description to help you with that as well. In Krita I am on version 5.0.2 and this is the default watercolour brush set that is installed once you open the program. So you don't need to download any brushes, you don't need to install anything other than Krita. The brush I'm using in Krita mainly is the Water Sea Basic Round Grain brush. With the dark green I just make this kind of shallow bowl shape to get different effects and see what's working for me and see what's not working for me and again just experiment with how you're going to do this. I start moving from that dark green to a more vibrant green colour as the rind has this transition from a dark to a light. Um, you're then going towards more of a yellow colour um, as it gets near the top edge. The paper texture in the background is just an image I found on Google which I use as a multiply layer. Again I will link another video in the description to show you how to get that effect if you haven't seen that video before. If this video has been of value to you so far please remember to hit the wee like button, it really helps. So we start with a red colour and get a red orange colour for the pulpy fleshy part of the fruit. It's not, it's not a very enticing word. In Sketchbook Pro I use what is called a hair blender brush, it comes from the artist brush set and I copied it and brought it over to my pinned brush set. I think it gives a, a really nice transition in that dark green through to the yellow. I actually struggled in Krita, I really like the feeling of the Krita watercolour brushes but I struggled a wee bit more in Krita to get the effect I was looking for than what I did in Sketchbook. Um, so in Krita I used what is known as the Water Sea Water Pattern Blender to try and get the effect that I was trying to achieve. So the, the pulpy bit's just a triangle shape, chunk missing, someone's hungry. Um, we add a darker colour to the bite just to show the edges a bit better, again you could use a dark red. Um, then we add the seeds and we just add a small highlight in white to each seed. So really just the main brush that I have mentioned and the blender brush are being used. Again everyone will have a different experience in what brush you want to use. I would just say experiment. I felt that the colours were a bit muted in Sketchbook at the end so I just duplicated the layer which helps rather than having to repaint over everything that you've already done. Again the, the beauty of, of digital painting and the ease with which you can do changes to your drawing. It's also a curse because you end up doing too many changes to your drawing sometimes. Both drawings took about eight minutes to do so you give it a go, see how you go on. My verdict is that I love how Krita feels when painting, but I did prefer my Sketchbook Pro results this week. I think there will be more experimenting in Krita to come. If you want to see my other watercolour tutorials, mainly in Sketchbook, you will find them in the video in the corner. Thanks for watching and wee Bob is out.